Hey, this is Jeff, and we are here with USP Pro. In this video, we look at how to submit forms to specific post types. And this includes WordPress posts, WordPress pages, and or any custom post type. So let's get into it. Here we have USP Pro installed and activated, so we are ready to go. Let's head over to USP Forms and click on Create Form. So we will add a new form and we will call this um, just demo form. And all we are doing here is creating a simple form that will enable us to demonstrate how the post types work. So here we've just added the basics, a title and a content field. And for more help with setting up forms and building forms, please see the previous videos on those topics. And we also have lots of tutorials here at Plugin Planet. So for now, we're going to add a title and a content. We're going to publish. And we're going to see how it works by default. So we come back out here. We copy the short code for this new form. And let's display it on a poster page. Make it a page this time. And now we can view the page on the front end. And here we have our simple USP form. Now because we didn't specify a specific post type. By default, this is going to submit to um, submit posts as a as WordPress posts. So let's take a look. Here are WordPress posts, and this is the default um, post type for submitted posts. Any posts that are submitted through this form will end up right here and be displayed by your theme, just like regular WordPress posts. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. And we'll call this Submit WordPress Post. We will add some content and then click Submit Post. And now we can refresh the post screen and we see our submitted post right here. So that's the basics of how it works. Now let's say we want to change it so that our form submits pages instead of posts. How do we do that? Well, we head over to the USP Pro settings and we go to the advanced tab and scroll down to custom post type. And here the first setting, as you can see, is regular WordPress posts, which we just saw. It is the default uh, value. Now, if we want to submit a WordPress page, a static page, for each, each form submits pages instead of posts, then we select this option. So let's go ahead and do that and save our changes. Okay, now we have that in place. And we can return to our form here. And let's go ahead and submit a test page. And we will add some more content here. Click Submit Post. And now let's take a look at our pages. And here it is right here, test page. So now that we have changed our setting to pages, any submitted posts that come through that form will be a static page. And we can override that value per form. So each form can submit posts as a different post type. So you can have one form that submits pages, another form that submits posts, another form that submits custom post types, and so forth and so on. So let's return to the setting now under the Advanced tab. And we go back to Custom Post Type. And USP Pro provides its own custom post type to kind of show you how it works. And that is, uh, the post type is called USP Posts. And we can change the slug for the post here if we would like to. But it's best to leave this at the default value unless you have good reason to change it and understand uh, what it is that uh, you're doing. So here we have USP Posts as our custom post type. So we save our changes. And now we see a new menu item here, USP Posts. This post type is provided by USP Pro. And so it provides all the functionality in the admin area that you need to submit posts. So let's go ahead and try to submit a USP post. 
and we'll just call this test USP post and more fun content here. Submit post. And now we return to the post screen here, and there it is. So we've just submitted a custom post type. So that is the USP post type. Let's return to the USP Pro Advanced tab for one more option here, existing post type. And this is any post type that is provided by your theme so or by a plugin. So if you have an existing post type on your website, you can use this right here, this option, and then it says see the related setting slug for existing post type, which is right here. And let's say that our existing post type, let's say that it is books, like we have here. So we can come back here and type in book, and then save changes. And so now if we return to the form, Let's try to submit a test book post and add some content. Click Submit Post. And let's go to the Books menu. And here it is right here. So we've just submitted a custom post type. So that's it. That's the custom post types in a nutshell. But understand that these here this is the default, these are the default settings here. So these apply to all forms unless you override the setting using a hidden field. So you can customize each form by overriding these default settings. So let's look at how to do that. We can head over to Plugin Planet and type in custom post type And unlimited custom post types is the tutorial that explains how to do it. For example, it provides some code that you can use if you need to add theme support. And then it explains the actual step that's needed here. So here is the trick. This is the punchline, actually. We copy this, and we head over to our USP forms. And let's say now that we want to make this form submit as a static page. Remember, right now we have it set up to submit to the books post type by default, so we can override that value right here just by simply entering the name of our custom post type. So the name of this hidden field is custom type or USP custom type, and the value is page. So when included in the form, this means that any posts that are submitted will be page, static pages. So let's take a look at that. We click Update, return to the form here, and let's do another test page. Test page 2. And then we submit the post. And here is test page two. So even though our default settings are set to existing post type book, we went ahead and overrode that in our USP form by adding the hidden field and submitting a page instead. Let's show one more example. Let's say that we want to override the default value for the post type and submit a post. We can just change the value to post. And we'll just call this another post. And then click submit post. And that's all there is to it. For more information on this, please visit uh, plug in Planet and read through this tutorial. There are a couple steps and some notes, and it also provides the name of the different post types that you can use, including your own. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope it was useful for you. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more.